We've got this update. Oh, it's looking spooky, man. It's looking spooky. I wonder if this is an opportunity or a case of me having to change my mind now that more information has come out. It's looking spooky. So you guys know that story about Jordan Neely, the busker or the homeless kid who unfortunately got into an altercation with somebody on the train in New York, end up getting choked out by this former Marine and ends up dying, unfortunately, in the flipping train, right? Super tragic circumstances. And obviously the optics of it are horrible. The Marines are super blonde, white guy, and uh, Jordan Neely is a black guy. So the optics of it are fucking terrible. Anyways... The narrative around it when it first started was that he was a uh, you know homeless, a busker, trying to get money, trying to feed his family, and that essentially it was some sort of unprovoked attack, or that it was something that required a little bit more care, a little bit more attention, and that the Marine was a monster. Well, look at this update. Curse your Fox News. A witness, somebody that was there to Jordan Lily Chokehold calls Day Daniel Penny, the Marine. They called him a hero. Or as Brendan will say, a hero. Oh, damn it, bro. So it's looking like the other story the mainstream media was pushing out about how that guy died isn't really what actually happened. The circumstances around it are maybe a little bit more complex or nuanced than what we were led to believe. Damn it, bro. Damn it. A retired, sorry, a retiree who witnessed Marine veteran Daniel Penny faintly choking an erratic homeless man on a train earlier this month. <laughs> Gotta love Fox in it. Erratic homeless man. <laughs> How did they know this? These guys, man. Relax. Fox News. You gotta at least pretend you like black people. Come on. Um, on the train earlier this month, called him a hero and slammed Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. He's a hero, said the Panister, who lived in New York City more than 50 years. The witness who describes herself as a woman of colour Oh, she's a she's a POC. She's a POC. Said that it was wrong for Bragg to change Penny to charge Penny with sorry with second degree murder. She says it was self defense, and I believe in my heart that he saved a lot of people that day that couldn't have got that could have got that could have sorry that could have gotten hurt. So what's the story now? That this Jordan Nilly kid was in the train waving some sort of weapon around maybe just being physically intimidated and threatening to people. Everyone was getting scared and worried and whatever. There might have been some mums on there, some old elderly people. And this Marine thought he was Superman, jumped in to save the day, chose the guy for not one minute, not two, not three, not four, not five, but 15 minutes. Cool, to subdue this guy. And then he dies. So that justifies it, right? So every time somebody annoys you on a train, what you want is you want a former Marine to be sitting next to you so that he can just kill the person. Is that what we want? Is that what we want? I don't know. Let me know in the chat. Do we want to live in that kind of society where if one of those kids comes on a train and starts doing those flips, you know those kids in New York that do those flips or they get a hat and they start like flicking it in their head, right? Do you want a Marine to just come around the back and just go, shh, you're my victim now. <laughs> and just like choke him John Jones style and just drop him on the floor is that what we want when some Romanian lady right comes down the train begging I need money for my family for my family please sir what do you want you want some marine to come and drop kick her in the head so she smashes her head to the side of the pole and bleeds out on the train is that what we want is that what we want in this society when some guy comes singing, right? He's singing some fucking, um, he's singing, I don't know, some Bon Jovi in the train with his speaker out. Right? What do you want? You want somebody to fucking open the emergency button and push him and his train's moving. Is that what we want? When some fucking Hispanic man is shouting and talking to his family on loudspeaker on his phone and he's annoying everybody in a complete carriage. Do we want a fucking former Marine to come around the back and squeeze his head like the guy in Game of Thrones style and just and pop his fucking brains all over the side of the fucking floor? Is that what we want? Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's saying yes in the chat. <laughs> Yes, 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 you guys are fucking awful. You guys are sick. You guys are fucking sick. Um, what's this? Said? Eddie D says Jordan Nelly was threatening the people on the train, saying he didn't care if he died or went back to jail. 
So if I scream in a train, I don't care if I go to jail. I'm, I don't know, if I'm having an argument. So if you have an argument with your girlfriend or boyfriend on a train on the phone, is that mean for people to kill you? Because you're annoying them. <laughs> Yo, we are awful humans, man. We don't like people annoying us on a train whatsoever, do we? <laughs> Oh, anyway, Jordan Nelly, who suffered from mental illness, stormed onto the Fox News. I used some very evocative language, in it? What do they call him here? They called him an erratic homeless man. They're saying he stormed on the train like a fucking stormtrooper. Stormed on the train. Stormed. How do they know this? Do they see the pictures and images? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yo, big up Uche. Thank you for the $3. Jordan needed restrained. There's no doubt about that. But he didn't need to be choked out for 15 minutes straight. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Uche, for $3. I appreciate you. I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm suffering from mental illness today. Because I can't figure out why people are arguing about this. No one's saying crazy people on the train aren't annoying. No one's not saying that. But also, no one is, should be advocating for murdering somebody who's annoying you on the train. Restraining them, subduing them, cool. But holding on to somebody and choking them for 15 minutes is not, it's unnecessary. It's over the top. It's like, no? Or am I being weird here? Even if you just physically hurt somebody, do you need to choke him for 15 minutes? Especially if you're that former Marine guy. I don't know. Anyway, let's just continue here. The quote from the person. I'm sitting on a train reading my book and all of a sudden I hear someone spewing this rhetoric. He said, I don't care if I have to kill an F, I will. What's that an F? Is that, like a, for a, is that F for a bunch of sticks? I guess so. I'll go to jail. I'll take a bullet. Record the woman. So he's ranting and raving, talking about shit that he wants to do to himself. The terrified puncher just crowded toward the exit doors. I'm looking at where we were in the tube, in the sardine can, and I'm like, okay, we're in between stations. There's nowhere we can go. The people on the train were scared. We were scared for our lives. They were scared that a man in a t-shirt was going to what? With no weapons on him. What was he going to do? With a crowd, full, a train full of people. Penny stepped in when Nelly started using the word kill and bullet. Why in the world would you take a bullet? Why? You don't take a bullet because you snatch somebody from someone's hand. You take a bullet for violence. The witness said it was clear to her that Penny waited until the last minute to intervene for the sake of the fellow passengers. She heard a thump when he dragged Nelly to the ground but couldn't see clearly until the doors opened. So the train stops at a station. Everyone can get out safely. And that's when he chokes him. That sounds like murder to me, bro. Everybody's off the train already. Why do you need to choke him on the floor? I'm really confused about this. Unless he actually touched somebody. Has there been an account? Has there been any evidence of just Jordan Nelly guy assaulting anybody on the train? Because that would make it somewhat justifiable. He assaulted somebody... The Marine came in, tried to intervene, tried to, you know, get in, back the person up, and it kind of it happened what happened. But if he was just being physically intimidating and shit, he didn't actually physically touch anybody. And then the first thing that happens to him is that he's on the floor with somebody's arm under his neck. That's a bit crazy. No? Or am I going crazy here? It's still not okay if it's an assault. The Marine could have been charged with abuse. She was so scared. What's that? None have surfaced. They really push him to paint him. Okay, I just want to... My, I'm going to reserve judgment until I hear a victim on a train. No, I'm going to... For the facts that I've heard so far, that, that Marine guy is going to get charged with some sort of form of murder. Has to be. Because so far we've heard no account of this Jordan kid hitting anybody physically with a with his hands, with a object, with a weapon, nothing. He said some words. Okay, cool. But he said nothing else happened. He said some words. He didn't physically hit or, or assault anybody. And then he's getting... And also, on top of that, by the way, guys, 
the train stopped at a station. So everybody that was scared could get off the train. Big up, Uche. Crash1984 made a good point. A Marine should know how to subdue someone without killing them. Big up, Uche. Thank you for the $3. A Marine should know... Not really, to be fair. If you guys know anything that happened in, Af in Afghanistan, you'll know. You know, they sent the troops over to Afghanistan to police and, you know... Those guys did a bit more than police. So I wouldn't trust the, you know, anybody in the army at all or the special forces to know how to subdue people. That's not their MO. So I'm not surprised that the first thing that he did about subduing was sending a guy to fucking La La Land, right? To heaven, to go meet his maker. That's not surprising to me in the slightest. The surprising thing I think is everybody rallying around this Marine as if like he saved somebody's life. Who did he save? Honestly, whose life did he save? This is a different story if this guy was on the train assaulting some pregnant woman, assaulting some mum, an old lady. Okay, cool. Then I understand it. He's a hero. But how is this guy a hero if he just strangled to death some homeless guy that was screaming on the train? He didn't hit anybody. Please, somebody tell me how this makes sense. How is he not going to get charged with murder? Unless his lawyers have got evidence that Jordan actually hit somebody on the train and he intervened cool but this don't sound like hero to me this sounds like vigilante vigilante me no like he um she heard a thump when he dragged nelly to the ground but couldn't see clearly until the doors opened at the broadway lafayette station and most passengers exited cool i'm just happy they didn't use a picture of jordan carrying a gun or with his hood up and something you know they took, took a good picture of him he looks good here um witnesses waited for police to arrive and provide a statement yeah, he looks like he looks he's aged there and then in the video up above, yeah. How old is this guy? This Jordan Nelly, this this Marine. He looks 50, 35 here, and then he looks 21 here. Uh Mr. Penny cared for people that he that's what he said. That's his crime. Caring for people is choking them for 15 minutes. Cool. Nobody wants to kill anybody. Um You know what I think? You know what I think. 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 You know what I'm going to say this. This is my hot take. I think we live in society, right, <laughs> where most people, if given the opportunity, and if there was no consequences, they would kill people on the street, like homeless people, unhoused people, legitimately. I think that we're at that point in society now because the governments aren't doing anything there's, uh, you know, psychological, psych psychiatric wars all over across the world are all being shut down. I think deep down, a lot of people in the world look at people that are homeless and shit and think to themselves, <laughs> honestly, I think a lot of people have like secret desires, longing for of like, you know what? If one of these guys, like and even more so on a train, usually you're on your way somewhere to work, to visit somebody in your family, to go and hang out with a friend or whatever. But it's usually the part of your journey you don't like. It's the worst part of your journey. And then some guy's singing for like a couple of dollars, walking down the street with his ass out, stinks like vomit, asking you for change. Everyone in their head's thinking the same thing. Whether you're religious, whether you're, you think you're kind-hearted, Everybody's thinking, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. And this Marine guy did what everybody's been thinking in their head. That's what I think is happening. That's why I, I think that's why everyone's defending him so quickly because they all secretly want to do it. <laughs> that's my hot take because it makes no sense. The kid did nothing. The kid did nothing wrong. He didn't touch anybody. And he just dies because what? He's annoying. That guy needs to go to prison. I'm sorry, bro. Until there's more evidence that comes out, that guy needs to go to prison. He can't be walking around the streets just getting annoyed at homeless people and wanting to choke them out. That's not how life goes, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ignoring the dude's priors. Of course, Wade Harris, what homeless person have you met that doesn't have priors? <laughs> what homeless person have you ever met that doesn't have a criminal record of some sort? Come on, bro. Police officers are like their fucking... 
police officers are like their fucking foster parents in some way. They're like their guardians. They interact with them more than they interact with other homeless people probably. Of course he has a record. Just because he has a record, does that mean he's, he's justifiable to get fucking choked out on a train? I don't think so, personally. Until more facts came out, I want to hear an account of somebody that got assaulted, somebody got slashed in the face of it, because, you know, New York people like to slashing. If somebody can give me an account of somebody on a train who got physically assaulted by this kid, fair enough. The guy come in, jumped in to try and save a woman, save a man, save a child, and things went left. All right. Shit happens. It's really sad, really tragic, but shit happens. He stepped up and tried to help somebody out. Okay. But so far, all I'm seeing is that he was being annoying. He was being scary, quote unquote. He was saying horrendous things with his voice about bullets and wanting to die. Cool. And then what? He gets choked out and, and dies in the train. Okay, Prosecutor Joshua Steinglass said that Penny's arrangement on Friday um, that the Marine veteran who has lived his entire life in New York area continued to hold Nelly for a period of time after the man has stopped moving. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is horrific, bruh. Man's on the train floor holding this kid until the complete life is drained out of his body. He's not moving and he's still holding on to him. Why? Just in case. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's, but Penny, he noted, had remained on the, the, on the train and accompanied police to the precinct voluntary to answer questions as this kid just lies on the floor lifeless, not moving. They're asking the guy questions. What's your date of birth? Where'd you live? Do you have any contacts we can contact? <laughs> and the kid's just on the floor dead. Yo, America's fucking wild. You guys, man. I don't, I don't want no problems. You guys, I don't want no problems. Oh my God. Two men who have not been publicly identified helped hold down Nelly's arms during the... Oh my God. So you're telling me there were two other black dudes on that train holding down his arms as a white man strangled him from the back. Were they black? They looked it. <laughs> oh no, one white. Okay, even worse. Two white guys, <laughs> one <laughs> holding down his arms. So he can't fight the choke. There's no hand play, right? That's what they call it in UFC, MMA, grappling, right? There's no hand fighting. There's no hand fighting. He couldn't hold onto his wrist, nothing. He couldn't tuck his chin in because two other white guys were holding onto his fucking arms. Even John Africa couldn't escape that, mate. Fucking hell. Nobody, uh, let's continue here. It took three men to hold Nelly down. He was struggling. Yeah, he was trying, he was struggling. He was fighting for his life, you fuckface. <laughs> he was struggling <laughs> yo yo after widespread protests erupted across the city with many demonstrations even politicians calling Penny a murderer brag charged Penny freelance journalist Alberto Vasquez began recording the confrontation after Nelly was already in a chokehold and offered a second account of the homeless man's conduct so there's a also, if you're freelance, no wonder you're freelance. No wonder no one's employing you. This is playing out in front of you in real time. Look at the optics and you haven't got your camera out straight away. You wait until fucking the guy's in a chokehold already. Okay, this is from the journalist. He started screaming in an aggressive manner. He said he had no food. He said he had no drink and that he was tired and doesn't care if he goes to jail. Again, these are all things about him. He's not so far say he's going to eat anyone's babies. He's going to kick anybody in the pussy. He's going to punch somebody's dick off. He's not said any of that. He's just spoke about himself. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. And I want to go to jail. Or I don't care. That's what he's saying. Okay, cool. He started screaming all those things. Took off his jacket and black jacket he had on and threw it on the ground. 
The narrative that has emerged has become about race. A white man who fatally choked the black man. A witness said, this isn't about race. It's about people of colour who are very, very afraid and a man who stepped into... <laughs> Yo, this journalist is a fucking idiot. This isn't about race. This is about people of colour. So what's colour? Is colour and race not the same thing? <laughs> this is not about race. But as the white man was choking him, he said, die, nigga, die. <laughs> It's not about race. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, the retiree lived in the city through the 80s and 90s when violent crime peaked. Mayor Rudolph Giuliani took office in 1984. Uh, the witness said he she feels like the city is sliding backwards and, and said policies that... Okay, we don't care about the policies. I miss the city under the rule of... Ju oh, my God. Who the... F this woman must be Cuban. She must be Cuban or Dominican. I'm 100% sure on it. Because Dominicans and Cubans, they love Republicans. They fucking love them. So, and they love the rule of law. They love fucking stomping on people's rights and shit. They fucking love it. They love, they love it. So this, this woman's definitely Cuban or Dominican. I'm sure of it. I miss the city under the rule of law, <laughs> law order of Giuliani when it comes to exposing people or subjecting them to violent behavior. The people who are in the power and supposed to protect us are not. She added that she prays for Penny every day. He's dead, madam. You could have prayed for him by taking the guy's arm off, off her under his fucking neck. I hope that they raise more because he's going to need a pretty penny, no pun intended. Oh my God, are you hearing this? I hope they raise more money for Penny because it's going to cost a pretty penny, no pun intended, to get this young man justice. Okay, this is a journalist, not the woman. Okay, cool. She lambasted politicians and people jumping up and down, feeling all this venom. There are AOC saying the gentleman was lynched. Why she, would she say that? She's supposed to be for the people. She also expressed sympathy for Nelly, who clearly was a tr had a tragic life and suffered from mental illness. His mother had strangled. His mother was strangled. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Yo, people have some fucked up lives, man. What a tragedy. His mother was strangled to death. He gets strangled to death on a fucking train. <sighs> Damn. His mother was strangled and her body dumped in a suitcase in the Bronx when he was a teenager. Nelly had been arrested more than 40 times, including numerous violent assaults on strangers in the subway. Yeah, you know, no wonder. If my mum died from getting strangled and dumped in a suitcase, if she, you know, my mum got strangled and dumped in a fucking Ramoa, I would also be angry. I would also be going around shouting and screaming. I would also want to be fed. What? In 2021, he punched a 67 year old woman in the face. Probably justified. 67 year old women are quite annoying. Breaking her nose in eye socket. Shame. Um, he was he cycled in and out of hospitals and jails um his entire adult life and was on the city's top fifty list of homeless people. <laughs> in New York they have a list of the top fifty homeless people in need of outreach. Why not just go and I don't know, reach out, brothers? If there's a top 50 list, should you just go out there and reach out to them in the first place? <laughs> Warning, caution, please do not approach this man. He's going to be flinging feces at you if you utter his name wrong or something. Lord almighty, the problem space in New York are now plaguing the US, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Penny is free on a 100k bond. Wow, who paid his bond? Fucking Peter Till, who fucking paid his bond? 100k bond and he paid it. A former Marine. This is smelling fishy. But yeah, like I said, until I hear more evidence, this Marine guy needs to go to prison. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Strangling a person on the train because they, they're they asking for food and because they, they're hungry, what, because they're cold and they want to go to jail. It's like, huh? Did they hit anybody? No. Did they push anybody? No. They said angry words. <laughs> like, what is this? And the train stopped also. Everybody got off the train. Remember that. He starts off heckling and making everyone feel uncomfortable on the train while it's moving in between stations. It eventually stops at a station. Everyone gets off. Then he chokes him to death. 
Yeah, I'm not having that one. Sorry, I'm not having that one. Jordan, what do you call it? The not Nelly. The the officer be- belongs in jail. <laughs> belongs in jail, but you know, probably won't because we know what the deal is. We know what the deal is. <laughs>